Hello one and all, we are back playing Mune Texas 2.0 as Persia or the Accularid Empire. So, uh, what are we going to do? I think I was about to invade something. I was. I think it was Mogulistan. I feel like that was the case. Yeah, I have my army prepped and rearing to go. And we were about into Mogulistan. On the production of okay, K Claim. Which one is the best? Both must get them. Yeah, you might be able to edit the save file. Uh, I'll try that next. Like, uh, we have some time. No diplomats is done. Oh, well, let's stop that. Fair war. It's more important. Oh, guess it's Beli. I thought I had one on him. Rats. Uh, we now have one on Oman, so I'll send that over here. Let us into Multan and Sind then. Mountain Pass is a pain in the ass, so we'll start from Kandahar. Move from there. Production build start. Yeah, right, Caleb. Invade the Turks, yeah. I'll just uh, open up my gates to all my cities and just uh, let them win. Be less painful. Yeah, I plan to take Tashkent. He's good. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get these troop types. I know uh, it's kind of like a waste. But we're about to go to war. I want some better guns, better troops. So oh, this will be worth it. Caleb man. You're gonna you're gonna ruin the empire. You're gonna Hutzendorf your way into a mess. Uh Periton renovate it, please. Okay, um, their war. Equally call in Sind. And we're gonna be marching straight to there, so yes. There go. Morgala. Ah, it's Morgala. But we'll probably. Uh, we barely have that supply limit. Might just have to force march from Kandahar at all times. <laughs> Pretty sure our country will go bankrupt by the time we even get into Anatolia with that strategy. Um, you're paying me for the thank you. Bankrupt uh, does a lot of terrible things. Uh, last I recall, it... Uh, Pretty much ruins your fort defense, uh, gets rid of your prestige, so getting rid of your prestige destroys your army. That's okay. Yeah, it makes it makes your entire country just shite. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Yay, stability! Woo! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Just really? Really, guys? Dear lord, they have, uh, decided to f really flesh out the entire army there. I bet, like, a couple forts through here. Just fuck with them. You're shitting me. Hmm. This was probably a terrible mistake. Force march over here, then, please. They're just gonna uh, march back and forth here. They're just gonna out manpower us, even with superior troop types. And uh, we got wrecked by the attrition on that fort, so just fall back to Kandahar. Uh, so I don't know how we're gonna win at this rate. They just have way too many troops. 
They're quite intent on... Okay, you lock in. You've locked in, so I want to kill that little stack. It'll be relatively simple. How the fuck? Fuck you, game. That was bullshit. You told me I was going to be able to strike at him. He took that away from me. Probably going to have to go into loans as is. Support. Okay. War supports. We're going to kind of need ya. It's war support. You're just all sorts of shit. Um, defensive war support. Pro, we'll just wait. I suppose. Oh, a 40k stack. They already have like 60,000 troops. We'll implement that reform. No, no, no. You can come at me. I don't mind. Just kill yourselves. Okay. They want to stack wipe themselves on me. That's okay with me. So this war might not go anywhere. Uh, guys have a lot of manpower. Now nah, we have good troops. And uh, these mountain passes, uh, and of course they're... Mm. Yep. Probably gonna lose some land here, so... Uh, hmm. Not looking good. We don't have the manpower to do this. Favors. Eh. Okay. Interesting. So we need to wait on them to... So Sind and Molten, we need to wait for one of them to, like, uh... Break apart their alliance. Is that far enough back? Probably not. Oh, the game crashed doing that. Okay. I just wanted to load up. Damn. Yeah, um, looks like invading uh, was the wrong call. We probably needed to waste away their armies first. But even then, uh, they had more manpower than us. They're India, so we're just going to have to feast on Mughalistan first. So that was a good test for run. Uh, it's like figuring out that um, the league mechanics are uh, powerful as shit. Definitely if you're the only really strong Protestant Empire. Yeah, are you ready? Um, in that case, no, but it was a good learning experience. So our, our armies can win and they can crush, but when you have to fight numbers that uh, essentially about four times, and you don't have the manpower, uh, the reinforcement speed, no, I was trying to load an autosave, and apparently that was too much. Yeah, I could, but eventually they're gonna, like, swarm past me, like they were doing. So the lesson of that is, one of those two need to be busy in a war. Or distracted enough that I can take on one. Else we could probably take on one or the other, but not both, Sind and Multan. Sind is apparently very wealthy, or a very large army. So we need to work on Mogulistan instead. Just merely a test. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wow. Sometimes you just need to test her out, see how it actually goes. If it goes right, then uh, the test is successful, but really. 
Sometimes you just need to give up. Because for one thing, uh, we couldn't afford a long sustainable war that way. We just did not have the war chest. We were losing money from the get-go. So reinforcements would have bled us dry. And um, we do not have unlimited manpower. So it's kind of like uh, when we're playing in Prussia. You need to choose your battles. Well, that's still when the war started, so probably in January then. Change the color, though. So, that's probably something I need to test in between. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rats. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. None of that war shit. Hey. We, we, we didn't lose too much. We lost about half a year. Manpower is pretty precious in the beginning, and we're making a fair amount of it, but when we're fighting someone like uh, Gulistan, um, just need to be that much more aware of how little you have. So, I can only take on one of these two, or we need to get stronger slowly. We'll just wait on that for now. So, are we forming? Yeah, we're forming a clan on Mogulasan. So, that was actually going. Hmm. Well, you really don't need a massive manpower. I mean, a massive empire for manpower. Uh, what you really need is uh, developed cities. That's where your manpower actually, you know, comes from. We're on city centers that can support them. Interesting. Good, that's that stability. Um It's true that uh, Tolerance of the True Faith gives you lots of uh, manpower boost in your local provinces, but uh, Church Influence, which is relatively high right now, takes a shit ton away. So I don't know how much manpower that the Tolerance of the True Faith is going to give me. Uh, but I don't think it's going to offset our current um, Church Influence. But we took a look, uh, manpower, look at the manpower given here. About 5,800... Um, maybe a modifier. Tolerance only gives us 6.7. Uh, meanwhile, at 45%, uh, church property takes away 18. So that's why you gain band power that way. It's uh, because uh, you lose it to the church. So, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, piety, what does piety do? Um, yeah. We need that fortification. Okay. Core. Hmm. 
I definitely do want to switch over to administrative monarchy. Right now there's some thinking going on under the hood. Uh, we need to be tech 23. Excellent. What will this give me? Things that I like. Tax and production. Mm -hmm. okay. So once we take this in the next war, move on to Abu Dhabi and on to Oman. And then we can slowly make our way around this coast. I did take more provinces, so do I have more? No. Good. Mm -hmm. Do I play, have I heard of Overwatch? Uh, I have heard of Overwatch, um, but I've stopped playing MOBAs in general. Mostly because I just don't care for them. I understand the appeal, I just don't. Not my thing. Not my cup of tea. Okay, so trade. I'm definitely thinking Diplo. I'm thinking trade. Definitely diplomatic, actually. That looks pretty useful for us. Uh, mostly this unjustified demands. Trade is good because we're giving out to us more money. Uh, no, uh, if you go admin monarchy, you can't go absolute, but... Um, absolute, we did in our Brandenburg Prussian campaign, and it's definitely more of a not very tolerant thing. It does give some nice bonuses um, to uh, your armies and such, but in the late game, absolutism is kind of uh, a revolution waiting to happen. Welcome back, Frederick. I walked my dogs not too long though, too, so I understand. Mm, innovative here looks fantastic. I would love to actually just pick this up right now. Skip trade, just go for another admin group. It gives me tech cost reduction. We're going to pick up Innovative instead. Uh, because that's just a really good idea. So we'll slow us down a little bit, but I feel in the long run it'll be very useful. And then we'll pick up a military idea next. You have a new pup. No, I'm pretty sure it's a MOBA with FPS elements, I'll be honest. Pretty sure that's how it's set up. But again, I don't play the game, so I'm not really all too fussed about the finer points. Nope, you can fuck right off. I need that money. My dog is a Border Collie cross with probably an Australian Shepherd. So the chat over there is talking about pets. I could use an Indian Prince as my ally. Can you do allies? Alliances? Yeah? No. Bruh. This is a reformed enough kingdom. Troops. Users. Arc Capizier. What it looks like more. Yeah, she needs a lot of walks. Um, to walk her during the day. When, uh, when I work. Yep. Oh, what 
is going on in Mughulistan here? Mughal tribes, you are just getting all sorts of fucked over. Your tribes revolt all the time. Maybe more revolting than my own uh, nobles. Akularian oh. power in the, is on the decline. No! Damn you, France! Kind of weird that the, uh, Korea is considered a great power just by owning Korea. It's just, um, it's just really impressive. I don't mind politics. I'm okay with that. Oh, France hates things. Good job, France. Be scary. Be a counterweight to this Turkish menace that is... ...punching through Spain right now. Calm your shit. So they're also having some problems with some peasants, so... ...not all is well, I suppose, in the Turkish Empire. This is the one that won the polls. Oh, I played. It looks fun. Um, you know, so long as you're not a, you know, a dick about it, I don't really care. If you follow the rules on uh, Discord, under the rules uh, channel, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Thanks, Harsh. So we need to eat Persia. No. Persia strong. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, eternal succession crisis. Oh, what fun. And some, uh, to be this private. Massive celebration. We'll have a party. And, uh, we have to suffer this for as long as this whole stupidity goes on for. How long is this? Internal succession crisis. That lasts two years. Ooh, yay. What fun. Point of favorite. Uh... Oh, well, he's 32. I will, should probably choose a favorite now. Yes. Um, I like anime power. Daffy. Hmm. Uh, just gonna go Cyrus here. 224. Completely average. Completely average. 17. You can have a party where we introduce them to everybody. How long is this list? That's a very long list. Slowly, we are turning it to a nice blue. Bluish purple ish thing. I know colors! <laughs> ah. I don't know. One thing I do like is every game is a bit different. Um. So no game will likely play out the same. There'll be similar strategies, but uh, sometimes one nation will uh, be a bit more powerful than another. Fabricate a claim. Our goal is probably Tashkent, so... Which of these border provinces is the list? Is the best, Kish? 
Ish. This one's looking the best. Neat. So we're gonna go for this one. The most appealing out of all the frontiers. Uh, yeah, what was this one? That being said, probably see uh, how strong that nation is. Oops. Nope, this is not the stat I'm looking for. Burning Cod. He has 16... Thousand troops. Okay, we can manage that. Probably take him a while um, to get down here, anyhow. Yep, Kale. That's a pretty good summary. Um, that's why I have a spy doing. Oh, they got a claim on us, motherfuckers! I knew this day would come. <sighs> Fuck. I like my Great Fire, so uh, we'll probably fight tooth and nail for that one. We do have Moscow on our side, so they'll likely help us in a defensive war. So, manpower-wise, we should be able to maybe outlast. Okay. The construction. We really can't afford this army. Really cannot right now. The ducats are not. We used to be breaking more off of trade. What's happening? Pretty strong trade node. Pretty rich right there. I really want more of that. Mm -hmm. Well, let's fully fund the army. How much will that really push us back? Do these cannons go? Oh. I'm gonna just delete these cannons for now. We just cannot afford them. And I assure you, even that, we cannot afford. This will be a pretty good backup. We'll just put it up in some mark end. Um, this army can just be led by the yellow gentleman. Just have the decent general. Yeah. Put you up here. Still can't afford this army, but that's a little bit more affordable. Armies are expensive. Need more of an urban population. But ideally, you could probably deal with Sabadar over here with this stupid one. Bastard. I don't know what the Mughals are going to be dealing with, but uh, they have a lot of billions, so uh, kind of sweep through here. Loot. Ah, that's wasteland. Okay. Can you not get to this this way? It's like cut off. No, it's not. These are connected. Okay. Is there a fort here? Nope. I'm gonna Kish. You can go here. You should be able to take that pretty simply, easily. Being li eaten alive by their own rebels. Um, that being said, where is their capital? The Arkand here? The Arkand's a pretty good place to have, too. Really wealthy. And a lot of people out here.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I totally forgot about you. This way. Come on. I know you want to think under the hood. Come, come, come. Attach, kill him. And march the Herod. Ah, that place. Over there. We need more strength if we're going to take on India. Maybe we need to enter a period of peace and prosperity. Build up a bit more. Then again, like, if we could build some, like, forts over here, we could probably watch the Indian armies melt um, their troops and strike at them when they're weak. Seems like a pretty good idea that we consider in the future. Like here, like here. Uh, that's wasteland, so here and here. Seems to be the only ways that they can get in. So here, here. Quetta? We put fortresses on these points. Um, it's gonna be really difficult for them to enter. Give tax. What's the next uh, overall bonus? Morale and discipline. That'll be useful. That's the best faith. The faith that follows me. My ego. It's getting large. Okan. I like reforms. Are you not moving? I thought I would told them to move, but apparently I'm an idiot. Mm. The fuck am I fighting? That's a, an impressive array of fam. To be honest, I could probably send you out. Like, march up north here. We'll see what we do with you after you, uh... aiming for their capital here in Yorkand. What kind of terrain is all this? Desert. Hot desert. Hot desert. Is this a uh, favorable terrain? Okay. So you could probably communicate pretty well. The Come on. What's this? Oh shit. Of course, mountains. <laughs> Damn it. Always mountains. What a curiosity. Take those two quite a bit. A lot of angry people. Will stand on Molten. Well, Molten's gonna hate me in time anyhow. They don't know it yet, but they will. you. That's so hard. Come on. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I approve of your loyalty to the Empire. we get down here? Okay. That's a simple low-level fort. Guys, Co and the Empire. What's it looking like over here? Other than the scariest fuck, Calixtine, uh, Bohemia. this yet? No? Okay. I get it. Well, let's march further, further in. Wasteland. Funding. Okay. Go to Shemkin. Whatever that's called. Taxes. Mm -hmm. Time you want to give up, that would be. I just want a fair amount of land. I'm not asking for much. How long is this going to take? Brush guy. We're getting pretty close to Mongolia. Austria, neat. Austria can do things. Congratulations. You have won. There's... Oh, okay. It's, not, it's just this fort is blocking the way. Fair enough. I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing. I don't mind, they're probably really, really busy with that massive rebellion, but, um... We've pretty much walked through unopposed. this fort lost more people to this fort than the entirety of this war actually I figured uh, if anyone looks at the casualty list during the war um, definitely would find that most of their losses is attrition I'm more impressed that they can afford 18,000 troops when the best bits of their land is, uh, under control. Always, like, bothers me. Crush their army. Maybe they're not funding it because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of morale. Yeah, that 
Back way. Bastion of Faith. Oh, hi, 23,000 troops. That came out of nowhere. Came from the darkness. What kind of... deck do you have? Oh, you are. Really damn far behind. A little tick go by. Let's see if we can beat you. Wow. Wrecked. You were crushed by a force pretty much half your size. Also, that said force is uh, pretty bloodied right now, so... Uh, you give me what I want yet. No. Um, I'm not sold on this province. It does give me a line into cash cow there, but guess I need to take more. Fine. You can continue sieging stuff down. Far they're gonna have to retreat to. Is there another fort on this way? I guess you're gonna march all the way over there. See what happens. This is what I like chat to be. It's much nicer. So you're done retreating then. So let's go find your army and crush it. Looks like you're uh, done with this whole retreat thing. So uh, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die. I have to greet it. So, Yen Shan. Time to murder. This is the dream. Hmm. I'm gonna retreat you, retreat you now. I will now. No? Okay. Well, siege some more stuff, I suppose. <laughs> Invading Mogulistan. Pretty much a pain in the ass. Done yet? You wanna give me what I want? No? Ah, reduced it to yes. We can always take more land from you later. Take your money. Really go with uh, where the Silk Road province is. Always come back for more. Doom, 
Sometimes I wish there was just automatic uh, conversion. Just like... What the fuck, Moscow? You are... You are not a team player, man. Not a team player. Also why tolerance is OP. You don't have to deal with, like, massive rebellions. That was really quick. Did the plague start in our land? I do not know. Hmm. Well, I do believe in the propagation of life as we know it. Uh, into space. That's essentially it. It's kind of limited right now on Earth, that's my opinion. Good luck, Mogulistan. Um, your army was white. <laughs> oh, I can convert these things. Let's start working on that. my faith out there. Need more money. I think we're really stretched thin as it is. Probably. Okay, autonomy. What are we looking? Local autonomy. Oh, it is getting lower through here. Not too quickly. Decent communication. Definitely need to really start pushing that out. I think to win a war, you need to win the people of the other country. You can defeat an army all you want, but that doesn't stop uh, guerrilla warfare. So you need to... Oh my lord. Stop, Turkey. Stop! Oh look, the Venetians got back land. Are they not taking care of their separatist problem? Well, they can't reach into this, so they might lose all this. The Turks might lose northern Italy because they... I, I'm pretty sure Venice will not give them access. Socialist robots. That's funny. Well, to the person who wanted it, Tashkent has been taken. Mecca is free. Big Mecca. Um, what is going on? Turks are dropping land. Like, uh, they're losing in Italy. They're not losing over here, but they are dropping pieces of land left and right center, and I can't really access Mecca. But I'll, we should start working for her again, though. Is this true send? 27. Like, uh, I don't think we can strictly, directly strike Mecca. No, there's no way to actively go at them. We need to make our way around.
Anyway, um, invading Mogulistan is uh, going to be very costly over time. No, I'm not at the point when I can start throwing weight around. Uh, that's when I start actually having more wealth. Right now, I do not have nearly as much. Because right now, I can only safely go in the direction of Mogulistan. And maybe we can start uh, forming claims up here. Claim. Let's go for Kashgar next. Some good stuff down there. These roads. We're losing control over this, so maybe we'll put our guy up here. More trade power up here. Let's see, what's our trade at now? 12.91. Let's see what happens after this switches over at 12.91. Fourteen point eight, so that was a much better choice. We're gonna gain more control over Western Siberia. So we'll be good. Can I reach Muscovy via land, kind of. Not really. Uh, they are our allies, though, so that's good. We need to go through Shervin, uh, and if we ever have to fight the Turks, then Shervin will be open. What about Arabia? Can you go that way? I plan to. I kind of want, I kind of can't get around this little bit. Will I take that? Actually, will you give me military access so I can carry on my way? I have no diplomats to send. Um, right, I was uh, aiming for the Kashgar direction. Uh, is there anything nice in between us and Kashgar? Well, we'll go with Kat Von here then. Be easy to take and build up our war score. I like that one. Yep, the Navy. Oh, that's a large army just to smack down those rebels. 40,000 troops. Calm yourself, Turks. Calm yourself. guaranteed and really they're the only one doing that so we're just gonna fight Oman we're gonna bring down our troops fully fund the army it's all it's all should make that cheaper yeah okay so this army is Need a leader for this. Four two one one. Eh, it's not the worst. You could probably sit in here. Yeah. Uh, caution. Conquer the Jellerids. Why do they exist still anyway? Because they provide a nice enough buffer state. And uh, half the time I forget about them, I'll be honest. Oh, that's why, because they're guaranteed by the Turkish Empire. That's why I don't invade them. So well, that's recent, I feel, but it was because of Banarasi. I can't really strike at them. Get this war, this show on the road. Let's see, Oman really just on, on his own there. So let's go. Hmm. <sighs> 
I think the goal of this war is to take at least Muscat. Loot. Yeah, see if we can get at least down to here. Um, that'll be very useful for us, definitely when we start deciding to build a navy. Let's see, what do you offer me? Ah, loop pool. Fine. Ugh. That, that's harsh. My limit's probably better here once we capture it, so. Move our troops there. We can march the Muscat. I don't know where their army is. Kind of concerning. On here. Come on. Look at all these rebellion, potential rebellions. Peace offer. Never. I don't know. My dollars are made of uh, plastic more than fabric. Our, our bills. Uh, Let's do it. Give them some. Give me some of your money. Call it a day. Be cheap. I don't own that yet. We might. We in th might be able to just do in theory just uh, straight up and next them. There's just not a whole lot of decent land on them, but you know. That's pearls. This has pearls. This has pearls. I'm not sure where their army went. But at least we'll be able to strike at Yemen. And then Banu Rasi. And then go full circle and strike at Hejaz. Eh. All this drain is shite. go back here and just not waste my manpower. Uh, I don't know what Amon is doing, but uh, they're definitely not fighting. Illusion. I'll get back to you guys on this. Hmm. I wonder if we can just take up the rest of his land. Doesn't seem like he's all too powerful to stop me. place then. Well, let's go there until we know otherwise. Ah, that's where his army is. It's kind of chilling here. Right up next him. No one would bat an eye. Nice.
Uh, yeah, we need to, uh... Nope, Muscat actually has a Trade Wharf, so we're pretty okay. And that works very well because we have a Trade Wharf here, here, and I know we have at least a road connection now with Basra. Or at least Tier 1 road. Basra is what? Quick communication, so what about here? Fairly quick communication, so yeah, wouldn't be too bad. I'm not expecting like crazy stuff to happen down here, but the start. It's pretty dirt cheap land. Let's go far as everybody. We God, that was very poor land. But more of this trade note for me, I suppose. Absolute power. Sweet, we got a whole merchant out of that. Best. Um, so... Where do we want to put him? A lot of this trade is going to Kush. We have 6% here. Does it even go to our straight? Straight up from us. Some of it does. Um, I'm inclined to start moving the Gulf and Aiden up into. Uh, oh, we can start actually a trade company. So yeah, we're gonna start transferring the trade power here up to where we want it. I'll help, but uh, I don't really plan on doing anything. Chechnya War for Independence. Good luck there, mate. Good luck. A trade company in those places? Pretty much. Get free merchants, move more money uh, to ours. Less money goes into Egypt, which means there's less money for the Turks. So we're just... We're gonna strangle the trade, actually, into the Turkish Empire. And keep it all for ourselves. Actually, now that we're, we are running our army at full... And we're making a profit. Well, that feels nice. I don't know how long this is going to be a thing. Oh, we're actually making... Yes! Glorious. So, we are going to do to the Turks... Uh, what they did to the Europeans, just cut tr the trade off from them with the world. Ha! <clears throat> <laughs> Russia invading Chechnya. Great polit topic for politics. It's like, oh, Glad I could oblige. That's not going to be a mess. Taxes. What's this? Institution embracement costs. That being said, how are our institutions doing? Um, how's that renaissance? Oh, well, well we kind of know about it. It's kind of a thing. To be fair, it's barely a thing in Europe, so the fact that it, you know, we know of it in Fars is uh, not bad. Not 1550 yet. Well, I'm not too far behind. I like the concept of the European Union, and I think it's like the step in the right direction, but I don't know the finer points to really, uh, really make a thing. But ideally, I agree with it. You're at war. You should put up your war maintenance. It's Chechnya. If Russia can't take on Chechnya. That being said, why the fuck aren't you Russia yet? Smolensk is Smolensk stopping you, Moscow. Really?
Mm, we can probably build up these cannons now. Should be able to afford those now. With our trade. Trade. Okay. Who are you protected by? No one. Interesting. You're probably not protected by anyone either. Okay, claim. You have no protection, and you have no protection. I like it when miners have no protection in this game. with our new money promises, but that's a session thing still a thing. Uh, why are those places? Why oh why? Why are you pissed off? Centralization not Oh, lesser nobles. Right, that's that's why I told the lesser nobles to fuck off. That'll do it. Sweet, because we did jack shit. Moscow has seventeen favors with us. Ah. Meanwhile, I just sat here, just uh, profiting from a newfound sense of peace. But, uh, yeah. That being said, now is a perfect time to put a cut in the episode. So, as always, thank you for watching, everybody. If you want to help the channel grow, like, favorite, subscribe. If you want to join the growing community over on Discord, is but a click away off of my channel. Uh, and if you want to help the channel grow uh, and support itself, uh, donation on Patreon always helps. But as always, have a blast. This is your host, Acularius, signing off. And I'll see you all next time.